Okay, we have a combination lock that we're going to try to break into. The integers to the combination are between negative 10 and 10. And then we've got three hints to help us find out what that exact combination is going to be. But first, I guess, if we're breaking into a safe, I need to put on a disguise. One sec. How's that? <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna recognize me. All right, the first hint. The first digit is the greatest possible integer. Okay, well, we know that the integers for the combo are gonna be between negative 10 and 10. All right, so this number line represents uh, all the possible integer values that we could get all these little dashes. It has to be in between negative 10 and 10, so it can't include that. So for that first digit, if we want the greatest of the possible integers, well, that means the farthest to the right. Well, the farthest to the right of the possible would be right here, which is nine. So nine is our first digit. Let's look at the second hit. All right, the second hint is the second digit is the least possible integer value. So instead of going farthest to the right, now we're going farthest to the left because the values decrease as you move farther to the left on the number line. So the farthest left we can go, we can't go all the way to negative 10 because it's got to be in between them. So that means right here would be my least. And that's negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. That would be negative 9. So negative 9 is our second value in the combination. Let's look at the third hint. And finally, the third digit is halfway between negative 8 and 2. Okay. Well, first, negative 8, that's right here. That's easy. So that's negative 8. 2 would be right here. 1, 2. There's 2. So I need to find halfway in between. So let's see. Well, from 2 to negative 8, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a distance of 10. So half, halfway in between 10 would be 5. So let's see. If I count 5, uh, I'll go from 2 to the left going 5. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be right there. Let's just double check that that's halfway. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five away from each, so that's right in the middle. And the question is, where is that? Well, if this is zero, that would be negative one, negative two, negative three. That means our third digit in the combination should be negative three, and if we put all three of those in, bingo, we got it. All right, here's some to try on your own. 